Hey everybody, welcome to Grafted. We're gonna talk about unicorns. Sam, do you believe in unicorns? Uh, are unicorns real? Those are questions. <laughs> Here's the big question. Are unicorns in the Bible? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick around and you're gonna find out. Here we are, new space. You may have noticed a little bit different look. We just want to give a quick shout out to City Center Church, Thank Pastor you. Matt Perkey, Pastor Luke Weiss. They have let us set up our stuff in their place. Oh, that's not a tiny mug though. No, it's not, but I got a little surprise inside. Hey, that's right. We went on a little vacation to Wyoming. Vacay in a big way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some camping in the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And picked up not a shot glass. Not. A mug. A little shout out to our Wyoming uh, folks out there. Familia. Beautiful yeah. Wyoming We also house. have a, a new person on the set. <laughs> we do. Our plant. Our new, <laughs> our new fake plant. I hope you enjoy that. His name is Gerald. <laughs> he has a name? He does now. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I wanna call this Beauty in Translation. <laughs> There are so many different English translations. That fact. <laughs> and it brings so much beauty to the scripture. Like we're really right. blessed yeah, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. English talkers. English so, talkers. I, what I would like to do, Sam, is uh -huh. you to kind of, you know, you studied the Bible in college. Mm -hmm. And so I want to see, this is kind of a quiz slash translation. Oh, great. Uh -huh. We'll see how you do in your old English Ooh. translation. Okay, because we're going to jump into the King James <laughs> okay. version. The, the beauty uh -huh. that is the King James translation. Sounds so I'm going to read from Psalm 92. Okay. This is known as the Sabbath Psalm. Mm -hmm. The only mm -hmm. Psalm that psalm for the Sabbath. specifically for a day of the week, and of course it's for the Sabbath. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Thy name. To shew forth thy loving kindness in the morning. So Sam, what is, what is shew? To, sh uh, to shew forth thy loving kindness. <laughs> it's this really close, like, come on. This, to, to, this is like, <laughs> this is like spelling bee. Kind of. In elementary it's school. It's S-H-E-W. S-H-E-W? Shoe forth. To shoe forth. To make to, to make known? Yes, show. Okay. To show. show. Shoe show. What? It's so close. <laughs> shoe to forth. Shoe forth. I'm using that in a sermon someday. And thy faithfulness every night mm -hmm. upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery. <laughs> <laughs> What is a sultry? Okay, well, it's something that you get in the line at the buffet. <laughs> no, it, it's a it's a harp, and possibly a lyre, but I think it's more of a harp. Sounds delicious. You're not, you're not doing very well in your old English. Oh my God. All right, we continue upon the great. harp with a solemn sound, mm -hmm. for thou. Lord. Okay. You always got to make sure I know who we're talking For about. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad. Uh -huh. Has. 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 Yeah, yeah, just with a T, just See? adds definition. It's all coming back to me now. For thou hast made me glad through thy work. Mm -hmm. I will triumph in the works of thy hands, O Lord. How great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not. Brutish. Mm -hmm. mm. Not a good guy. Okay. Yeah. Not a good guy. <laughs> Bru brutish, like violent? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Maybe? Sure. Maybe? Neither doth a fool understand this. What about doth? Mm -hmm. Is it death or doth? Doth. 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 D O T H. Doth. Doth. I you like kinda, that you kind of say it right here. There is something really beautiful about the KJV, though. Like, it, oh, yeah, for it sure. feels. Kind of sacred when you read it. I feel like it. I, I don't know if it's the right word, but it has like a. It, it feels high, like, yeah. like majestic. It, it feels, does. You know, like there's something to it. It's just a problem when you don't know what the words mean. <laughs> so I, I, it's this, not. We're not making fun of it. No, it's just no, no, more no. that we don't know. If you don't know what it means, it right. kind of loses its value. There was a guy in, in college. We started singing hymns, hymns every once in a while at the campus ministry I was a part of, and. He explained a song one time before we sang it so that we would know what we're singing. Oh. I was like, what's a fetter? All right. 
When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, Tracking. it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Mm -hmm. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. Art, like he's he's good at painting. <laughs> he's a painter. He's a good painter. <laughs> no. no. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord. It's low. Say it again. For lo, thine enemies. Is there a comma after low? Yes. For lo, thine enemies shall perish. For like, like behold. Yes. Yeah. Uh, All right. I was gonna give you a hint. Low and oh, lo and yeah, behold. I didn't even go there. No, that's good. All right. Right. Lo and behold, I knew what it meant. He got mad on it. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Okay, here is the crescendo. Okay. The crescendo. All right. the crescendo. But my horn shalt. Mm -hmm. I think we know that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. My horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the unicorn was in this passage. <laughs> I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Wait a second. <laughs> and it was an unicorn? Let me read it again. <laughs> Not a unicorn. An unicorn. An unicorn. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. Okay, so first of all, it's an unicorn, mm -hmm. not a unicorn. Right. I've been saying this wrong for years. I've been saying <laughs> a unicorn. Because we for talk years. about unicorns right. all the time. Second of all, there's a unicorn. Right. Sam, this answers an age old question, which is Are unicorns <laughs> real? This is a resounding yes uh -huh. that unicorns are real because <laughs> it's in the Bible. A resounding right? yes. <laughs> it's, res it's how, how do you know if something is true or not. What is truth? If it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of mm, translation. That's so good. Unicorn translates the Hebrew word ra'em. Mm. Okay. Say it again. Ra'em. <laughs> it's kind of a romantic word, you know? <laughs> uh, like unicorn-esque. Like, you think unicorns are romantic? I do. Okay. So it's usually translated to, in, uh, you know, modern translations as wild ox. Which doesn't sound romantic. Not at all. At all. Those are very different uh, creatures. But 2 Samuel 22, 3 says, The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. Mm -hmm. So this phrase, horn of my salvation, yeah. caused Christians mm -hmm. in the Middle Ages to connect the unicorn with the Messiah. Because it's a single yeah. horn. So the horn, true story, I have a visual aid for it yes. here. <laughs> I love visual so, aids. Yes. <laughs> the horn, so like the unicorn in the Middle Ages was this representation of the Messiah. That's that's awesome. And I mean, and maybe it's just, maybe it's just his horn, I don't know, but like that's crazy, is it not? That's and check this out. Did you know this? It has an R on it. For Ra'em. <laughs> or maybe it's for like Richard or something. This tradition of the unicorn, it actually goes back to like hundreds of years before the time of Yeshua. Wow. It's, and some think it maybe was the ancient rhino, uh, rhinoceros. Oh, okay. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. the narwhal. The narwhal, right. Uh -huh, That's this. like the sea unicorn. <laughs> You know how they have chicken of the sea? Well, we got the unicorn of the sea, <laughs> but you can't eat it. That's not okay. The narwhal reminds me of uh, Elf, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Hope you find your dad." And and he slowly disappears. Into the maybe world. that was a reference to like God the Father. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> I think you're stretching. That's a stretch. There we have it. Mm. We now know that unicorns are indeed kosher. Not like eating kosher. Have you ever had unicorn? I have never had <laughs> unicorn. I don't know about you, but I was taught that unicorns were like evil right. or, or weird or something. Like a, like a mythical creature that you you don't want to talk yeah. about. But now what I'm saying is I think it's okay if your kid has a stuffed animal. Take back the unicorn. Unicorn, yeah. Let's right. take back the unicorn. Yeah. We got to use narwhal and unicorn in the same episode. So that's pretty rad. I, I think we can retire. 
Our show we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Well, it's been great having everybody. Right. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome to Grafted. I'm Hello. Sam and this is Tom. I, f- I think we, we just keep him here for now. Can we put him on the 